Hello everyone, this is Refresh and I'm here to take a look at Ultimate Guard's premium soft sleeves for tarot size game cards. These sleeves are 73 by 122 millimeters and they are clear. You can buy one package of these at an MSRP of $2.95 per pack. And for that, you get 50 sleeves, which means that each sleeve averages up to about six cents per sleeve. That makes these soft sleeves just as expensive as the more budget range of the more rigid sleeves. Let's go ahead and check these out to see if that is worth it. As you can see, these sleeves are smooth and glossy on both sides. Now we're gonna count to see if there are 50 sleeves here. All right, there are 51 sleeves here. So you are getting what you pay for and then some. Now to check the thickness of these sleeves, 50 sleeves comes in at five millimeters, which makes each sleeve 100 microns thick or 50 microns each face. Now to check the dimensions, these sleeves are 73 millimeters tall by 122 millimeters wide, just as advertised. Let's see how a card fits. I have one Century Spice Road card here, which is tarot sized. We'll put it inside the sleeve. It is a fairly good fit in terms of the width. There is a bit of play on each side and it is a very tight fit at the top. There is barely any space between the opening of the sleeve and the top edge of the card. It is basically exposed at the top here. Now different tarot size cards may have slightly different sizes here. If we measure the Century Spice Road card, we actually see that it is 121 millimeters tall. And so it is very slightly taller than the average tarot card. And that means that it's not going to be a huge surprise that these fit all the way flush to the top of the card sleeve. It does mean that even if you are using more standard 120 millimeter tall cards, you're gonna find that there's not that much space between the top edge of the card and the opening of the sleeve. But if you're using the Century Spice Road cards, you're gonna find that it's even closer than that. Whether this is a plus two or a minus is dependent on how much you like to see a bit of plastic at the top. You can definitely see the plastic on the side, so this does seem uneven with the Century Spice Road card. I think with a more typically tarot sized card, you're gonna see just a tiny bit of plastic at the top. Not a lot though, and so it's still going to be a bit of a tight fit. Now we're gonna do the sleeving test. I have 45 Century Spice Road cards here and 50 sleeves here. I'm gonna put these into the sleeves and see how long it takes. Ready, set, go. <laughs> All right, that took two minutes and 14 seconds to sleeve these 45 cards. And that's a moderate speed of 2.98 seconds per card sleeved. Overall, I felt like getting the cards in the sleeves was mostly easy. A few of these sleeves did have some problems opening, but that was only a handful of them. And generally, I didn't feel like I had to struggle at all to put the cards into the sleeves. And so overall, I felt like the sleeving process was just fine. Now that we have sleeved up these cards, let's go ahead and check for their consistency and uniformity out of the package. I will tell you right now, just when I was counting the sleeves, I noticed that a few of them had some dents and or creases on them, but it wasn't many of them. In terms of their width, these are fairly uniform. There is some very minor differences between some of the sleeves. And you can feel it when you're rubbing your hands across the sides, but it is so minor that I do not think that it will pose any issue. The tops are perfectly uniform. There's no difference that I can discern from rubbing my hand across the top. There is just a little bit of a worry because of some of the sleeves have it coming out of the package with creases or dents in them, but it is not a lot. I do also think that these sleeves have a little bit of warping on the surface. It makes them a little less than attractive, but this is pretty common for soft sleeves. So I do think that you should be prepared for that when you are buying soft sleeves. They're just not rigid enough to not warp at some point or another. Now it's time to do the shuffle test. I'm gonna shuffle this sleeve deck 100 times and see how long it takes. Ready, set, go. <laughs> Okay, 
That took two minutes and 13 seconds to shuffle these 100 times. And that is a very respectable fast speed of 1.33 seconds per shuffle, being one of the fastest shuffling sleeves that I've tried so far. Handling these sleeves is pretty easy and there's no bounce when you are putting the sleeved edges into each other and so they go in pretty easily. They do have resistance as is common to glossy sleeves but they don't have that much resistance and the fairly lightweight nature of these sleeves makes it also easy to put the halves into each other and so I found that the shuffling process was decent and the sleeves despite being soft sleeves aren't super spongy and so it's easier to get a grip on them. Part of that is just because there's no real distance between the top edge of the card and the opening of the sleeve and so it's really easy to grip them at the top. Overall I felt that the handling feel was modest. Let's go ahead and see if these can riffle shuffle as well. They don't riffle shuffle very well and that's because there is a significant bounce on the side where the edge of the sleeve is a little bit distant from the edge of the card and so the sponginess of that makes it really hard to press them without them flying out of your fingers as you try to riffle shuffle. It doesn't make for an easy shuffle on the side and so you're really just going to be mass shuffling these if you are shuffling them. Now that we have handled these sleeves a bit, let's go ahead and see what the wear looks like on them. All right. On initial inspection, it does look like some of the sleeves got a minor dent or crease added to them, but it is not a lot of the sleeves. I think the biggest element of concern is that if you look at the bottom of these sleeves, many of the corners have started bending after initial handling, and that does mean that over time, these sleeves are going to get harder and harder to mass shuffle because the corners are going to interfere with the shuffling process. That is the biggest concern in terms of the wear here. I do think the surface is hold up a little bit better than at least some of their competitors. And so if you want a more pristine surface look over time, then these sleeves are gonna be an okay choice. But I think that the fact that the corners started bending does mean that long-term these sleeves are also not gonna hold up very well as they did initially for shuffling. So they started off as one of the fastest shuffles and they're gonna end up over time being one of the slowest just because of these corners. None of them split though, so that's good. And so I think if you are playing a game that requires minimal shuffling, then these sleeves might actually be a decent choice for you. Now it's time for the shake test. I have stacked these sleeved cards into a deck. I'm gonna shake the table they're on for a couple of seconds and see how well it holds up. Ready, set, go. It barely budged, but that's not a surprise. These sleeves are fairly sticky to each other in terms of static, and they are in very large cards, so I think the chances of them falling are gonna be pretty low, even with a fairly high deck. That is a pass. Let's do the draw test now. I'm gonna draw three cards off the top of this deck and see how well the deck holds up. Ready, set, go. No problem at all, the deck is barely moving. Despite their relative stickiness to each other, they are coming off top of the deck without any issues. And so I think that we're not gonna have any problems with deck stability in general when it comes to these sleeves. So is this worth the more moderate cost of six cents per sleeve when you can buy more rigid, more durable sleeves at this price? I don't think so. Even though these are fairly decent quality in terms of their surface, and according to the package here, it has extra seal strength, I think that the price that you're paying is not generally going to be worth it for these particular sleeves, because you can get soft sleeves for significantly less from either Mayday or Ultra Pro, and they're going to have all the same weaknesses as these sleeves. These might have slightly higher quality control out of the package, but they also do bend at the corners more easily than at least Mayday, and so that is not a good sign in terms of their long-term use. Those of you who want to sleeve slightly taller games like Century Spice Road are also gonna be concerned about the vulnerability of the top of the card with these sleeves, because there's barely any room at the top. For your average tarot card sleever, you're going to still have only a little bit of space between the opening of the sleeve and the top edge of the card. And so that's gonna be a concern for some of you as well. In general, these sleeves do not feel the best in your hands, but they are modestly effective. 
The one place where I think that you might want these is if you are dead set on having soft sleeves for whatever reason, whether you prefer their slimmer profile or you just like the look of soft sleeves. Then if you want a sleeve that the face of the sleeve is going to hold up better, then this may be the sleeve for you. But even in terms of durability, I don't think that this is going to be a top choice just because of the bending of the corners here. And so in general, I don't think that these premium soft sleeves from Ultimate Guard are a good choice or a good value. So those are my thoughts on Ultimate Guard's premium soft sleeves. If you have any experience with them, let me know what your experience is in the comments below. If you have any experience with these or any other size tarot card sleeves, you can also click on the links in the description box below. They will take you to surveys where you can talk about their relative consistency and their relative durability. And those results will be shared at the Init Games' resource page. If this was a helpful video for you, hit the like button. If you'd like to see more of these videos, hit subscribe. This was Refresh. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.